back. As I said in my uh, in the last in the last video for Power Rangers, next LP, Mario World. So let's get started on this. Uh, I'm not gonna beat that because I got some explaining to do for this one. Uh, since this, everyone knows there's eight. about seven eight worlds not counting the star world and the special world I'm just gonna let everyone read this um, I'm gonna do this a different way either a I will be posting the videos after well like I'll make one video then uh, After I'm done making the video, putting everything, putting everything together, post it, or either, depending on which world I'm on, because some worlds are longer than the others, um, I will use the 15 minute time limit, record for 15 minutes, stop the recording, and post. Well, put everything together, audio and everything, then post a video. That everyone needs. I'm actually gonna hit the message box so everyone knows what they say. While I want to read this, I'm just gonna put my cat here. Okay, everyone should be done. Let's go. Lighting. Mute this. That's good. If it wasn't fast enough, go back, pause it, just read it. It uh, the first message message blocks. They just explain how to play. It. Like if you do this and that, that happens, etc. Uh, etc. Et Later on, uh, they it it says some different. So level one is done. Next we go to the yellow switch palace. And this is easy. No, I said hit. Ah la la. Oh, no. No, I want the coin. <laughs> I need the money. Yeah, speaking of money. Um on my way back from what I originally had to do, I decided to stop at a pawn shop. Just to see for the fun of it what they have. And now I wish I had a job and money. Because they had a copy of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. And for tho those of you who went to check my list, uh, who checked the uh, list of my game collection knows uh, realized that I have ages already but I do not have seasons so yeah there's Yoshi saying thank you for rescuing me there's another one Okay, that's good. Yeah, um, another thing, uh, for this one, I will be playing every possible level. So, what I was gonna do is do, do the original levels, like from World 1 all the way to the final one, and beat Bowser. Actually, what I might do is might leave Bowser f like for the very last video, and after I do Star World 
and the special stages, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, after all that, beat Bowser, and then move on to the uh, next LP, which I actually have no idea what to do. Actually, wait a minute. I did mention that at the end of the Mega Man video. Well, Mega Man 2. Because I did say I was going to do Darkwing Duck. Then Power Rangers, which... Yoshi! Come back, Yoshi! Yoshi! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to do uh, Darkwing Duck. Then I was going to do Power Rangers. And then I was going to do Aladdin. But one of my friends posted a comment in one of the Mega Man 2 videos saying that she wanted me to, well, she wanted to see me play a Mario game. So, here it is. So, I pretty much moved the Aladdin game back one LP, so the next one will be Aladdin. And now, one of the things I will be talking about, pro probably either half of this while I play this or uh, just a bit why uh, oh shit uh, whatever why is it that Mario always has good games like there's um, this one there's Super Mario Brothers 3 Super Mario RPG etc etc but there hasn't been a good Luigi game. Seriously, why does everyone hate Luigi? Like, yes, they've made some Luigi games. Mario is Missing is one of them for the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, which is a game I don't like. And they also make made Luigi's Mansion, which some people say it's a good game. Some people say it's a bad game I've tried it and I don't like it that much not because I get lost already at the beginning it's just uh, if they made like a Super Mario RP like an RPG game wait well, actually I can't really say that because they did it on the Game Boy Advance even though Mario's in it, which is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which I have. Okay. Uh, that's just talking. Uh, oh yeah, that's just basically saying, oh, you beat this level? Then you can go back by pressing these two buttons. Come on, Pokey. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. I did not get hit. No one saw that. Uh, that's just a star. Oh, I want that P-Switch. Oh, well. So, yeah, one of the things I was saying, I will be hopefully playing this game 100%. If I do miss one thing, let me know in the comments. And I will... Look, uh, look it up. Um, actually, that... Yeah. That message block, even though it was just on for a bit, it's just explaining at the end when he passed 100 with that goal thing. It goes to a bonus game. Uh, oh, I already screwed it up. Pretty much is you have to... I got one, two... Alright, pretty much, you have to match the same item that's in the middle. Like, he, there was a star. And depending how many lines you have, you get extra lives, depending how much you have. Now, uh, that's pretty much easy. He's just explaining that. Well, the climbing on the fence. And if you do this for a certain amount of time, then you can't get an extra life. I don't know if it counts after you jump. No? I don't think that's why. Just wait. Don't trust you. Oh, you know what? 
Oh, they go. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a lot of extra lives in this game. <laughs> um, just explaining that in every castle is one of Yoshi's little eggs. One hit kills. So yeah, the video's almost done. Because after this area is the boss. I don't know how many times I beat this game, but I've never beaten it 100% because I actually lost the game when I was a kid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Mario! Luigi wouldn't have gotten hit. Oh, my God, that sucked. Luigi wouldn't have gotten hit like that. Luigi would have been just go, fuck you, bitch. Die, motherfucker. And there's one of the eggs. It's jumping for joy. There's the kaboom. As the eggs go on Yoshi, Mario's just, Mario's just looking at the castle that has not crumbled with showing the white flag saying, I surrender. That's what sometimes bug me. Who keeps putting that flag up if you always kill the boss in each one? Seriously, like, who? Well, that's gonna end it for this video because I just completed World 1. Tune in next time and we will take on World 2 which has, let's see, 1, 2, Three, about three levels that has a secret exit. So the path changing is gonna start here. So until next time, everybody. Take care.